Okay, guys, I'm just doing a doing a test here on my channel. Um, let me know if you can uh, if you can hear me on this. Go ahead and just drop something here in the comments. I'll wait for a few people to come on. I actually have not done a video here on the channel in quite some time. Cat type video on a couple of races that I, races I did this past weekend. Did the uh, the the White Face Mountain uphill bike race on Friday night. Then I did the uh, Bristol Mountain Road Race, which was the New York State uh, Road Race Championships uh, for New York State. Did that Sunday um, and had had good uh, had good results in both races. Just figured I would do a quick uh, recap on things, maybe update you guys on some, some other things going on in the channel um, while I was doing that. Also, um, bear with me, guys. I bear with my living room here. It's kind of cluttered. I got my treadmill in here, uh, got my, my mountain bike, my Cannondale mountain bike on my rollers, which pretty much stays in the living room here all the time. In fact, I just finished a two and a half hour, uh, Zwift ride a few minutes ago, actually. Um, but, uh, okay. I haven't seen anything come in. Um, wait, let me see here. I'm trying to figure this out actually. Um, okay. Maybe that might help again. If you guys can hear me on here, or if there's anybody on here watching and you can hear me, uh, just leave me a quick comment just so I can ensure that this thing is actually working. Because like I said, I actually, um, this is my first time ever trying to go live. So, um, again, guys, uh, for anybody just joining, this is going to be a just a short recap uh, live video segment I'm going to do. Um, basically, just kind of telling you guys uh recapping a couple of races i did this past weekend um again i did the white face mountain uphill bike race on friday night in wilmington new york um just a few miles from lake placid new york and then uh yesterday sunday uh left sunday morning early and made the about four and a half five hour drive down to uh canandaigua new york um to take part in bristol Road race, which which this year was the New York State uh, Road Race Championships. Um, it's a race I've done three times now. Uh, it's a course I really like. Of course, it suits me really well, um, and I usually like making the trip down there for that race. So, all right. Well, I haven't had anybody uh, comment yet and anything. So again, I don't know if anybody can hear this or not, honestly. Um, but uh, obviously, uh, you guys will probably see this at some point if you subscribe here on the channel. Um, but feel free, guys, also to drop any other questions you might have while I'm recapping these races. If you have any other questions, drop them in here, and I'll if I see if I uh, I should see them. And if I do, I'll give you guys uh, an answer on some things. So um, last Friday night, um, May thirty first. Actually went down and uh, took play uh, took part in the 18th annual uh, White Face Mountain uphill bike race. Um, for anybody not familiar, essentially what it is is it is basically a 11 mile race in total. Um, it leaves from the White Face Mountain Ski Lodge um, in Wilmington, New York, and first three miles are a downhill section, pretty much down to the uh, to the four corners in Wilmington to the intersection with Memorial Memorial Highway which is uh, which is an eight mile um, ascent up to the summit of Whiteface Mountain uh, the summits I think it's over fourth it's like four thousand seven hundred feet something like that uh, above sea level um, so I went and did that race Friday night um, found out after the fact but there was like there was like 370 some odd people registered for the race, I guess, or something like that. Close to 400 people uh, took part in the race. Um, I did, obviously. A couple of my teammates did, did as well. Um, had a terrible start to, to the event. And what this is, is it's pretty much once they kind of blow the whistle and the race begins, like there's no neutral section. There's no, there's no, it's just pretty much, it's an onslaught from the get go. And it's basically like a swift race start and everybody is just mad dashing to the, you know, maybe 10th of a mile, you know, uphill out of the driveway of the ski lodge. And then it's a downhill section for like three miles to the four corners in Wilmington before you start climbing up white face mountain. Um, actually had trouble clipping into my pedals. 
I remember doing like four or five pedal rotations before I could get clipped in. And by that time, there had already been a bunch of guys like sprinting, you know, and like gapping me pretty good, honestly. You know, and these were the guys I knew were going to be competitive for the overall. Um, so I, you know, and I didn't want to lose a whole lot of time getting down to Wilmington. Um, so I was pretty much in like a VO2 max sprinting effort uh, for like two minutes, um, you know, just to get on uh, back onto the, to the pack, uh, to, you know, to the lead pack of guys. I was able to get on, um, honestly, probably burnt a match doing it. Like I said, I had to like VO2 sprint for about, a, for about two minutes to get on. Um, but once I got on, I pretty much was disabled. I just sat in, I just sat into the, to the lead group there. Um, and there was actually like, Two, there was like three or four guys that actually were ahead of us. Um, yet yeah, there was like three or four guys that had like maybe a 15 second gap on us, maybe, maybe less than that. Um, so I wasn't too concerned at that point. I mean, we were still going to be hitting an eight mile climb and that was going to be the race anyway. So I wasn't concerned at that point. Um, so we get down. So, uh, this, the descent down to Wilmington was, uh, was, was fine and, um, was able to, you know, get a climb pretty much in the lead pack on, uh, pretty much right up, you know, in the lead group at the front, um, you know, had a couple of guys that I recognized in the race. Um, one guy, uh, I knew was a recent, um, basically a recent upgrader from cat from guy from category four, uh, USAC racing to category three. Um, in fact, I knew that because I saw he was going to be in the, in the field for the Bristol mountain race on Sunday. Um, so I was kind of, bike reg stuck in the guy a little bit. Uh, so I knew he'd be in there and he looked like he'd be a strong rider. So I, I kind of had my eye on him. And there was another guy that I recognized actually that I raced against up there in 2017. Um, his name honestly eludes me. It's a little bit difficult to pronounce, but, uh, he's a Canadian, uh, a Canadian guy. Um, he's a professional mountain bike uh, rider, I believe, um, races for pivot, uh, for pivot bicycles. Um, he was in, and that guy actually, uh, on the first mile, up white face again, white face mountains is an eight mile climb up to the summit. Uh, in that first mile that, uh, that pro mountain biker there, he was the guy on the front, you know, pretty much kind of dictating pace and, you know, trying to, trying to put the hurt on everybody. And the pace was high. I mean, I remember seeing in that first mile, I remember seeing, you know, power number, you know, power readings up into the like, you know, 400 watt range. Um, but I wasn't, you know, I was, it was a hard pace and at the, and at that, at, in, in the early phases, in the early moments of the climb, I was content to just pretty much sit tight, um, and just kind of see what was going to, you know, see what was going to unfold. Um, so that guy, like I said, he was up there, you know, he was pretty much on the front of the group trying to break it up for like the first mile, pretty much until we got close to the, to the Santa's workshop. Um, there's a Santa's workshop building about a mile up uh, once you begin to climb up white base um like pretty much right in around santa's workshop the pace i don't want to say it subsided really because it didn't it was still a real hard pace but i was feeling comfortable not you know not maybe comfortable isn't the best word but i was i was feeling like i wasn't really on my limit i guess is a better way to describe it so i thought you know so I thought, you know, well, I'm going to just go ahead and make an attack here and see if anybody is able to follow it. And pretty much my game plan, my game plan was going to be if they could, I was going to, you know, ease up and just, you know, you know, be content to just let things unfold further up the mountain. And if they couldn't, my plan was to just kind of bury my head and hopefully sit at about 340 watts, um, which, you know, given my weight in that day, I mean, Friday I weighed in about 125 pounds. Um, yeah, I was just honestly kind of banking that if I could sit on, if I could establish a gap and then sit on, you know, 340 Watts, I was making an educated assumption that I would at least be very difficult to reel in. Um, so I did that. I made an attack and, you know, I, I got maybe about a five, six second gap on the field, look back and nobody either, either nobody was able to, or nobody was willing to close down. So I pretty much at that point just pretty much committed that, all right, I'm all into this move and I'm going to, you know, I'm going to, I'm, and I'm going to go for it. And I, you know, long time, I'm not going to, you know, make this a drawn out, um, you know, video, but honestly, um, I pretty much was able to hold about a 30 to 40 second gap, um, over the second place rider. Again, 
uh, don't know who it was. I just know it was a Canadian gentleman. Um, I spoke to him actually a little bit after the, after the race. Um, but I was able to hold about a, like I said, 30 to 40 second gap on him pretty much the whole way up the climb. And uh, I actually, uh, guys, I won. I was able to win the race uh, Friday night, the, the white hate, the white face mountain uphill bike race. I was able to win that race. I won it by like 26 seconds, something like that over that gentleman. Um, time was, I think my time for the whole race was just over 52 minutes, uh, 5208. I think it was. So I was, I was really impressed. I was really uh, pleased with my time. Um, kind of surprised honestly that I was able to win. I mean, I really was assuming I'd be able to at least be, you know, top three or four, you know, um, in the race, you know, had a good ride, was able to, uh, was able to, uh, to win, uh, the white face mountain race. Um, and for any like a kind of geek out on power numbers, stuff like that. Um, just for anybody who's wondering, um, and you can, I, I do have the ride posted on my Strava if you guys want to look at it there. Um, but I, if memory serves me right, I think my time on the Strava segment for just the eight uh, mile climb up white face, I want to say my time was 44, 47, I think it was. And my average power for the climb was 343 watts, which for my weight was off, off, off some quick math was right around uh, six watts per kilogram, which obviously I'm ecstatic with. Um, that's my best all time best uh, performance, um, you know, power to weight, you know, wise. That was, that was my best climbing performance ever. So obviously I was very, very uh, pleased with that effort. Um, and, uh, you know, my, my, uh, my attack and my, uh, my strategy paid off once I was able to make that attack. I was able to make it stick to the line. So, and I'll tell you what, it was really cool when I met, when, you know, actually my, my parents came down to watch the race Friday night. I had them uh, take my, you know, my truck up to the summit because they were going to give me a ride back down from the summit afterwards. And I uh, tell you what, having my folks up on top of the mountain, you know, uh, you know, watching me, you know, go to the line, you know, in the lead and having my parents, you know, cheer me on on the side of the road uh, like that was, uh, it was, it was really cool guys. Uh, it was, it was a good moment that I'm the, that I, that I won't ever forget. Um, it was a really fun race and it's just really good when, when everything can come together like that. And, you know, when, when all the hard work and the training, I mean, you know, I, I trained my tail off all winter on these rollers, you know, um, obviously the training paid off and I was able to have a really good effort, um, in the white face race. So, um, just wanted to give you guys a quick recap on that. And then, uh, yesterday, actually Sunday, um, I got up, you know, really early in the morning, like I got, I left home at like five 30, um, made about a five hour drive down to Canada, New York. Um, to take part in the Bristol Mountain Road Race, which for this year was the New York State Championship uh, Road Race event. Um, as any of you guys know here on the channel, I'm a, currently a Category 3 racer, although I believe I believe with Sunday's race at Bristol Mountain, I believe I did get uh, enough upgrade points to upgrade to Category 2 if I want to. So um, I believe I you know, would have the ability to go to Cat 2 now if I want but for Sunday, I was doing the Category 3 race, um, and the way it broke down, um, actually, the they, they pretty much was what the 2-3 uh, race, so we got the race with the Category 1-2 guys. Um, I think there was like 7 or 8 Cat 1-2 guys in the race, and I believe there was like maybe 16, 17 of us Cat 3s um, in the race throughout, and... You know, the race pretty much went as I expected it because, like I said, this was my third time doing this race. Um, early on, there really wasn't any attacking. The first, like, six miles of the race is pretty much like a flat section, so nobody really attacked there too much because this is a really hilly course, and the hills, you 